the section fabric to be dyed is left placed outside over the edge of the tub, and the section to be undyed is placed in the tub. Paper is placed where there are gaps. The number of tubs prepared is equal to the number of colors used. The fabric is secured to the edge of the tub with special pins. The lid is placed on top, then temporarily secured with linen rope. After removing the pins, a wooden hammer and pole is used to tightly bind the tub. The pattern is ruined if any dye gets in. It is an extremely physically demanding technique. The preparation for the tub is complete once gaps are filled with paper. Once it is done, it needs to be sent to the artisan for dyeing as soon as possible. Next is the dyeing. It is dyed after being soaked in water for around one hour. The tub made from Japanese cypress will expand in water and the linen rope will also shrink, which helps to seal the tub. It is impossible to completely seal the tub if it is made from ceramic or other material. The fabric is slowly dyed red. The smooth coordination between the artisan who seals the tub and who dyes is important. The tub is opened. The fabric is dyed beautifully red and kept white where it is supposed to. After checking the result, the fabric is then hung in the shadows to dry. This is the under kimono for a furisode.